Welcome to episode 1439 of the Multifamily Collective. Sorry for the lighting today. It's a little awkward. It's like evening. The sun is shining through the window. My backlight's not working all that well. But uh, here we go, right? Uh, persevere. Trials. So the topic today is <clears throat> quit talking. But it's probably not what you think it is. In that, I think it was yesterday or the day before, I was listening to the Wall Street Journal uh, podcast, which is really just a recap of the top 10, I guess, probably most prominent articles in the Wall Street Journal for that particular day. It's a mix of opinion and actual uh, articles uh, that are written in the in the uh, paper. So. That, and yes, I do get the paper, paper right here. Wall Street Journal. <laughs> I know. I know. Save it. So quit talking was actually a topic on that podcast. It was also printed in the newspaper. And the punchline is it's people who take to TikTok who take a TikTok video of their quitting of their job. So in one example, well, I'm not going to cite examples from the newspaper. What I'm going to do is tell you about, I went down the, the rabbit hole of actually searching for people who do this quit talking. And I came across this curated set of TikTok videos where people from different industries were quitting their jobs, recording it on TikTok. And one of them was an example of a, a young woman who was quitting a job in a restaurant setting setting. And she, she describes this moment in time where she really does not like the supervisor that she is working for, but she feels bad for the team members that she's going to be leaving behind. In fact, it's like, it's like 30 minutes before she decides she's going to quit. And she is video taking a video of herself saying, Hey, look, I'm going to go ahead and finish my responsibilities for this shift because I don't want to leave that on my fellow team members. Uh, but she goes on to say, I'm going to quit while I am leaping out of the window, the service window of this drive through restaurant. And sure enough, let's say it's 30 minutes removed from that point in time. She takes a video of herself climbing through the window while saying, you know, John, I quit my job. <laughs> that gives way to an example or, or a, a gentleman who is quitting his job in the property management industry. And he takes a video of himself walking into the property manager's office and there's the property manager and the regional manager. He calls the regional manager the B word and says that he's quitting because he, she treats everyone in that office like garbage, cites the property manager as an example of a person that she treats like garbage and himself and the other leasing person, I believe, or assistant manager. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly how many players there were in this scenario, but obviously this is a multifamily podcast. Obviously that multifamily example was uh, interesting to me. The, he didn't cite the property management company. Thank goodness. He did videotape the regional manager that he called the B word. And anyway, long story short, I, <laughs> I'm a, uh, I'm torn. Look, I'm old school. I realize that. I've been in this industry for coming up on 30 years. I'm a gray beard, right? I've seen a lot, done a lot, and have opinions about all of it. But this particular thing executed by this particular generation, God love them. I love them. I love their youth. I love their energy. I love their passion. I love what they get behind for the most part. But this particular version of quitting your job just stoops to a level that a level of narcissism that I can't wrap my head around. I'm having a hard time wrapping my head around it. How you think, and it look, despite the circumstance, you, you hate your manager. Great. I get it. To publicize that, 
especially in the example where he walks in and he calls this woman the B word and then promotes it like out for who, who knows how many followers this, this person he had and, and how many views this thing has accumulated. I'm calling that bad form. I'm just going to say it. I, I, that's bad form. That's really bad form. And he goes on, he posts three or four different segments. I stopped watching because it, it just, I got a pit in my stomach over it, but it, he goes on in these, the second, third and fourth clip, defending his position, defending his actions doing it under the premise that he was doing it on behalf of another person, doing it on behalf of leasing consultant, property manager, and so on and so forth. But I call nonsense. I do. I call nonsense. If you're going to quit your job and you're going to do it under any premise, be a, be a human. Walk in, sit down, help the people that you're – quitting on, understand your position, not under the spotlight, not with the video cameras rolling, because all that does, all it does, in my firm opinion, is make you look like a fool. And and it gives caught, like, if that particular individual ever applied to come to work at our company, guess what? Not a chance on God's green earth, would I ever hire a person who publicly lambasted another human being on a camera and then pub- published it out to the world? You pretty much wrecked your opportunity to come to work. Not, not that I'm the only, not, not that our company is the only company in the entire world that manages multifamily assets. But we are a company of high integrity and high standards. And that particular thing that you did is now on your resume. It's your unpublished resume, right? You're not going to write that down. And, And even if you did write it down and you recounted that story and you give it and you give it the best possible spin when you're in an interview, if it even comes up in an interview, to me, uh, uh, a hiring manager who is halfway worth their salt would see right through that and not respect that. There's no respect in that. There's no respect in that. No matter how violated you felt. Now, look, there are certainly some super extreme examples, but even in those super, super extreme examples, you're not putting that out on TikTok and you're not putting that out on Instagram or Facebook or in a podcast or <laughs> I I just for the life of me don't understand it. I don't understand it. Now I I like to think that I'm a very open-minded person and my punchline for today's rant is can you help me understand how that is okay. And if your intent is to wreck the reputation of that particular individual and wreck the reputation of that company, I'm here to tell you, as someone who spent a tremendous amount of time in, in the business world, in the multifamily space, working for property management companies, both in the public arena and in the privately held arena, there are better avenues to exercise your grievances. And one is you make an appointment with the human resource or talent management person in your organization and you disclose those particular grievances to that person. And you trust that that individual is going to take, especially if you're using very specific examples. And when I say specific, I mean date stamps, precisely what happened, precisely who was there and precisely what is said. If you disclose that type of information to a very good human resource person or talent management person in your organization, it is incumbent upon them 
to take action, to do an investigation, launch an investigation, investigation, interview all the constituents, form of an opinion, and take action on that opinion. That is a much better avenue to quit. You may still quit, but it's a much more admirable way to exit an organization than recording yourself, calling someone the B word, and then walking out in grandstanding and drawing attention to yourself because it's all you did. You just drew attention to yourself. And guess what? That attention, the value of that attention, while it might be funny to the people that you're, you're broadcasting it out to, might be funny to you. My speculation is that let's say six months removed from now, a year removed from now, 10 years removed from now, you're going to grow a conscience and you're going to regret that you did that. You really are. And if you don't, that's a whole other set of concerns that, that I might have for you. And look, I, I'm, I'm not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but this thing, this movement of quiet quitting and recording it and putting it on TikTok and it, 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 it falls in the bucket of just because you can doesn't mean you should for me. I'd love to hear what the community has to say. I'm sorry. I took 11, 12 minutes to get this out, but there's a lot, there's a lot to unpack there. There's a lot to, to suggest. <laughs> there's just a lot to unpack there. I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully you listen this long. Maybe I create a compelling title that gives cause for you to listen to this entire thing, but I'd love to hear what you think about quit talking, quit tick talking. It's incredible. Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.